I am so excited. Guess what? My potatoes are coming along. Look. Okay, so I'm going to bury it with more dirt because, you know, it's not good to expose them to too much sun right now. So they need to be covered. If not, they'll end up being bitter, right? So look at this one. Like, but just a little bit. I'm going to cover it back. But look. You see? Oh, my goodness. I am so excited. And then this one right here, too. I was kind of nervous because... I didn't see anything happen after it um after it started growing and stuff you know and it shoot it whatever and I put more dirt on it because I was like oh it needs more dirt I didn't see nothing happening and I bought the organic dirt and I'm like oh man I think I put too much on it and it killed it whatever but look at what's happening I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm so excited so anyway so I had to come and video it and stuff cuz I am so excited I am really excited. I don't know what happened to the ones on the other side, but at least this, I saw some. So, anyway, I'm just putting some, a little bit more dirt on it. And I kind of, because with all the rain, I haven't really been, um, it's been like really, really wet and stuff. So I didn't pay attention to some of the things, right? And then, only to find out, uh, my guinea tree. Okay, so this guinea tree, it died like about four times already. And every time I come back and... I keep on like nurturing it and stuff put stuff at the root and whatever and it comes back to and now it's funny which is weird because with all the rain you wouldn't think that this would have happened to the tree but in less than no time the tree started um it started dying and I was just like oh man so I'm asking one more time for her to give me another chance because I was trying to find a spot to plant it because of course you know my yard is not that big right so I need a spot to plant it but I know by the grace of God that she will come back to one more time and this time I'm gonna find a place so this time what I did is I placed her in a bucket of water so this way her roots can always reach down and get water because it was just sitting down and when just a few days of no rain and boom look what happened to her so I, I gave her more dirt around it right and so I probably just um I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some other stuff. See, and bugs too. They get on there and they, they caterpillars and whatever, and they come and eat it down. So I'm going to get some, like, um, some mulch. Like, I'll get some carrots and potato skins and stuff like that. And I'm going to put it at its root so it'll get some natural nutrients. Now, here goes my ginger. They're doing good too. And so some more right there. Even though when the men came to do some work to change out the windows and stuff, they stomped on a couple of them. So a couple of them died out. But... These ones are doing okay. So I think pretty soon I'm gonna be able to reap some ginger too. And what else do I have? This is my pear tree, AKA avocado, as you know, the Americans call it. Yeah, so this is my avocado. And you can see the seed. That's the seed where it came from. I got this, the pear from my neighbor across the street last year and I planted it and look at her. She's doing very lovely. And these are jackfruit. Yeah, got jackfruit and um, yeah, so we have two. I'm gonna give these away though because I don't have any place to put them. And here's another jackfruit tree, a couple of them here. I think I might give it to my mom. And uh, oh, so these are some more ginger with the men stepped on. And I use a stick to try and catch it back up so hopefully, you know, it will survive and it won't die. And what else? And of course, like I showed the last time, this is a jackfruit tree that look at it completely died right so this is how it was looking like this jackfruit tree over here right and then the bugs started eating it down or whatever and then it died right so anyway i left it and i didn't even get a chance to come out and dig it up and then boom you know new life came out right there from the same tree that looked like it was dead right you know man god is so amazing how he talks to us through nature and of course my bananas looking fabulous that's just this one right here and then there's another one that it was hanging over in my neighbor's yard so I kind of pulled it over the fence because it was hanging over the fence so I pulled it over so it's a decent size right not bad yeah and my coconuts in the front yard let me tell you something them jellies are so sweet yesterday I cut down some for my mother-in-law and I was drinking some and I was and she she drank some too and Look at that other one over there. That tree in the middle, that's the first tree that I got um, jelly from. So now I'm gonna have to buy a ladder because of course, before I used to just reach up and just twist them off. So now, boom, I gotta get a ladder in order to get them down now. But it's full of water, as small as they are, they have a lot of water and sweet, sweet water too. 
Now this is my sweet potato and the yams. The iguanas is eating it down, of course. You can see the leaf. See, they keep eating it down. So I poured more dirt in it. I'm hoping that I could get one or two yams or some sweet potatoes would be nice. So it's actually running cross here. The two of them kind of intertwined. And so now it's running down here. So anywho, uh, they ate up everything in the garden box and all that's in there is weed. So I need to dig that out and plant something new in there. And there goes another thing of bananas. I got to cut the, um, the dead leaves down from around it. I think I'll do it this evening so I don't have too much work to do this weekend. So that's another one there. And then it's so funny. Well, it's, it's not ha 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 funny, but it's kind of funny. There's, um, we have some really, really tall ones. And there goes another one that's shooting too in the middle right there. So they're doing good. It's like I have a banana farm over here. And there goes another one right there. Oh, that one is ready. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that one is completely ready. I'm going to have to cut it down today, as a matter of fact. Let's see. Yeah, definitely it's ready. It's just being held up by... Yeah, you can see. You see the tree? It's like completely dead. So I'm going to have to cut it down. Yeah. I've been a bad mummy. Oh my God, forgive me, guys. I need to pay better attention to y'all. So I need to cut that one down. That one can stay a little bit longer. Let's see what else we have here. Oh boy, she's almost ready too because you can see the tree is like almost dying. So this one's almost ready too. So I'm going to have a lot of bananas to give away and to uh, make some more stuff. Maybe I'll ripe them up. Oh my God, and these bananas, oh my God, they are so sweet. Especially if they ripe on the tree oh, before the animals could get to it. Sweetest things ever. And here goes another one. It's shooting now, right? Oh my God. I love watching it when they shoot. So here it is. You can see it right there. Yeah, so it just started to shoot. And there goes a little banana, see, coming out. How awesome is that? I love it. I love gardening, especially when I see. So this tree is the lychee tree, and I chopped it down because I want to use the space to plant my guinep. And look at her coming back. So I'm going to have to chop again because uh, I don't want the lychee tree anymore. It took too long to give me nothing, so I chop them down. My lime tree, she's doing good. There's only two left on it right now. I utilized them, you know, made my juice and then, you know, used the husk and steam. So she's good. Here goes another one that just shooted. Yeah. And I used a stick to catch it up so it will, you know, at least carry her babies for a while. And look at my coconuts. These are the little orange ones. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So, you know, the first few prawns that came out, the bees and the ants ate down the things, right? So here they are. So I was all excited, right? Because I swear this was what I was going to get the first set of um, coconuts from. But see, died. I was, so, I was so devastated. So that one died. And there was another one. It had so many on it. I was excited. But nothing came of it. And here goes the other one right here. Nothing came of this one either. But lo and behold, this one survived. And I kept saying, oh my God, give me at least a couple of them. You know, I want to trace taste at least a few right so boom so there's two holding on and i pray to god that it will continue to hold on and i kind of chop the limb down a little bit so it give it space to hang down and you know have a little bit of support or whatever and not mess with the integrity and this i believe is is grape the last time when it when it came and had actually bloomed i was just like oh i'm not sure what it is so i did not eat any but it turned out that it was grapes so grapevine so next time I will be making sure that I make them ripe and I will be eating some grapes. And this banana is going to be cut down soon too. Probably in the next week or so. And then I have another one, right? You see how ginormous that tree is? That tree is like about 10 feet tall, right? And so that one shoot it as well. Oh my God, this is a long video. I need to cut it. Okay. And so, I don't know. I just get really excited. Especially when I see some stuff, you know, and it shows me like, I'm like, oh my God, God really does talk and talk to me the most in the garden. I learned a lot of lessons, right? So there goes the tree. Where's the, I'm trying to, oh yeah, there, there it goes right there. So see that? Right there. Boom. That tree right there, shoot it out some. And there's another one. Oh, so you know what? I was wrong. It's two trees that is hanging over there. Okay, so here's the other one. And there goes the other one right there. 
Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then my neighbor is so funny. He says he got um um what you call it papaya. So he go so he said, oh, whichever papaya you see hanging over in your yard, it belongs to you. So yeah, I got cool neighbors. All right. Well, anyway, that's my excitement for the day. And also, I planted some more pineapples, and they're doing good. This one's getting really really big, so I'm gonna have a lot of pineapples next year. When then they decide to shoot and now I have this one I'm about to plant. And that's a wrap.